find our next empty page. So this is where I did the color wheel. So I'm going to do my planning, my sketching on this next page. And what I'm going to do is slide this paper underneath. And do you see how you can see that feather there? I'm going to trace it. And this is just going to be a rough sketch of what I would like to do on my feather. I'm going to include the center point because we want to make sure that we are practicing our letters as well. Okay, so once I have that done, I can take that out. And now I'm ready to begin. The first thing you want to practice is your name. You're going to want to write your name inside one of these letters feathers sides and I want you to have your letters start and stop on the edges. So I'm going to go nice and big with my M and I can decide if I want to do all caps like I'm doing right here or if I want to do some lowercase letters. Do you notice how as the space gets bigger my letters get bigger? And then I'll leave a little bit of a space for my last name between the words. And this is just so you have a good idea of how this feels and how it will look when you write your letters nice and big. Now here, my letters are close to the edge, so I'm going to draw a line a little bit above so that you can still see it. So there's my name. My next step is my class code, and I can decide where I would like to put that. It can be smaller. I'm going to put my class code up here, and this is for Mrs. Brings and Mrs. Larson. And now I have all of these, this space here where I want to come up with three to four different patterns that I can use to fill that space. And one way to divide the space into different areas is to draw lines. I'm going to first draw some lines. I'm going to make this one just kind of a straight line and maybe I'll make it thick. So now I have this, now I have one, two spaces. Now this time maybe I'll use a curved line. And again I think I'll make it thick so it stands out a little bit. So I have one, two, three spaces. I'm going to go with one more. And this time, my other type of line that we have is called a zigzag. So I'm going to do a zigzag line on the top here. Again, I'm doing two lines to make it thick. So now I have one, two, three, four different sections where I can draw some patterns. When you think about patterns, you want to think about shapes and you want to think about lines. So I divided my sections with lines, but I can still use lines when I create my pattern. This one, maybe I'll start with a circle, and then I'll just have the circle get bigger and bigger and bigger as I go. And maybe I'll just continue this to this point. And now I could decide if Maybe on this one, I'm just going to continue this curved line to fill in this space. But maybe over here, I want to make another circle and start again. To fill in this space. So I want to think about using lines and shapes as I fill up my spaces with pattern. And it might be a good idea to have line, shape, line, shape. So I'm going to fill up these spaces with pattern.